All right, boys and girls, today we're going to be talking about energy. There are three different types of energy we will be talking about, heat, light, and sound. Let's go through them. Heat, energy that is pushed into motion by high temperatures. This is something that causes it to be really hot, like fires or a toaster oven when you put bread in there. You use heat to make it toasted, and on top of that, we have like a stove. So an oven or the top of a stove, when you have something that's really cold and you want to make it hot, you would use a stove or an oven, which is caused by heat. Let's talk about light. Light is a type of energy that you can see. So we have a flashlight, we have a light bulb, we also have a lamp. These are things that allow us to see. Sound. Sound is created when objects vibrate. You can usually hear a sound. That's how you know that this is the sound energy. It is created by vibrating sound waves. So if you saw something like this, instruments, those are considered to be sound energy. A whistle or even a motorcycle, you could also hear a sound when a motorcycle is going. So what we're going to do is we're going to determine if the images use light, heat, or sound, okay? So we're going to see some pictures and we're going to decide. It says put your answer on the response sheet, but we're just going to do it together right here. So number one, she is singing. If she is singing, do you think it's using light, heat, or sound? Sound, because we can hear it. Let's take a look, look at this one, light bulb. This would be light because we can see it. If we have a bell and we ring the bell, that would create a sound. So this would be sound energy. When we have a campfire and you're trying to make your sm you're trying to make s'mores and you have a marshmallow over it, you're going to be using heat. This is heat energy. Let's take a look at lightning. Now, some of you guys might say lightning has two types of energy, which is true. It could also be heat energy or it could be light energy. The way it could be light is when you see lightning, it creates light. It's something you can see. How is it heat energy? Well, when lightning strikes sometimes and if it hits a tree, sometimes it could spark a fire. So lightning has heat in it. This girl is holding an instrument. An instrument would be sound energy. The sun, this can also be two things. It can be light, something that helps us see during the day, and on top of it, heat, because it creates heat during the day. A flashlight, that would also be a light energy. It allows us to see. If we see an instrument, we know that an instrument creates some sort of sound. The sound vibrates, so this would be sound energy. A lamp, if you have a lamp, a lamp causes light energy. It allows us to see. So boys and girls, today for your assignment, I'm gonna take you back here for your assignment. It says forms of energy. There are two things you need to do. The first says, explain why a hair dryer is a form of heat energy. How is a hair dryer heat energy? So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna type your name and then you're gonna type your answer. It could just be one sentence, something that tells me, how do you know that a hair dryer is heat energy and not light or sound? The second thing that you're going to do, it says forms of energy assessment. Right here it says, write the form of energy for each object below. So what you're gonna do, it says a light bulb. You have a word bank, heat, light, or sound. If it's light bulb, which form of energy would it be? Yeah, it would be light. So I would type my answer here. You're going to have to erase this part and then write light. And that would be the way you do it. If you have any questions on the assignment today, please let me know. I might add some extra links for you to look at on Brain Pop Junior if you want to learn more about heat, light, and sound. Otherwise, you may get started on your assignment.